Oh, we're off to light speed. Welcome back to Let's Break Jedi Outcast, episode 8 of the 8th episode. I'm your host, Mr. Septerstein. Hang on a second, it's a little too noisy here. There, that's much quieter. Uh, hang on. There we go, it's much quieter around here now, just how I like it. Alright, so, one thing that I will mention, I've done something to Lando to stop him from moving, because there is an important aspect of the thing that I need to explain. Welcome back to Let's Break Jedi Outcast. We gotta get to the ship. In Jedi Outcast Let's Breaks, we do things where things are a little bit less conventional than normal. Check out this guy. Notice he's not holding a gun, instead he's holding a light stick! That means I must poke him in the nose. This way. He would cause problems for Lando Calrissian because Lando does not have a lightsaber, so he's lightsaberless Calrissian. And he has to press this button, so one second. There, he is fixed. Now he is coming. Very slowly, but surely, he is making his way here. It is absolutely wonderful time. Uh, yeah, in the last episode, we found Rilo Baruch, the trash compactor foosball man, and yeah, that's basically everything we did. That is a fast elevator. Holy crap. Be careful not to get whiplash. Why did you move backwards? Why did you move backwards, Mr. Light Lightsaberless Calrissian? All right, here's an awkward thing that everyone made a mistake at least once in their life. There's my baby. Hope they took good care of her. Give me a minute to check things out. You'll know what I mean. How's it look? Well, it doesn't look like we can just fly her out of here. She's held in place by magnetic moorings, and they've got one tough tractor beam online. I can deal with those here, but that doesn't solve the bigger problem. The entrance to the pad is closed, and I don't think they're going to just open it up for us if we ask politely. Sure they will. You'll have to find the flight control center and open the door to the star pad. Better get going. I would guess we can expect some company pretty soon. Good luck, Kyle. Thanks, Lando. Now, the awkward thing that I'm talking about that is not a failure at any incon... No, no reason whatsoever. <laughs> this is an elevator. As you can probably obviously tell. All right, let's go over this way. And poke the door. Kyle, I cut the power to the moorings, and I think they'll be in... Whoa! See, that's what I mean. I need to remove manually. I'll let you know when I get there. Good for you. But that's what I mean. If I tried to play this legitimately, that is a perfect example of what would happen. So, I'm not! And I gotta do that all over again, so I'm gonna off-screen it as my body disappears. Bye! See, look what dying did. It changed my lightsaber color to something I don't use! Oh, I fixed it. Well, it does look like we could just fly her out I'm not... I'm like stuck up here so while he's talking. Fuck! <laughs> Oh, look, son. It's a meteor. It's a shooting star. It's a sh oh. Oh, 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 oh! I love it. There are bottomless pits. Ah, uh, I don't have a flashlight, so guess what? No! That's what I want. You know what's really funny? When I first came in here, in a part, in an earlier episode, I actually legitimately forgot that this cast light on things so i was like oh i don't have anything to use and then i realized oh i have a lightsaber right lightsabers are made of light <sighs> why do i keep i keep turning it off by habit and i shouldn't do that here there's the door i found it now i can turn it off except i can't because there are enemy insurrectionists everywhere Like that guy right there, I'm just gonna call them the members of the the mop the mop clan. That's what I think of your piece of shit ways. Lando's down there. And check it out. If it happens like it did last time, there are gonna be two turrets that are gonna shoot at him and me instead of him. See what I can do. Yep, there we go. They started shooting at me instead of him, which was I which I think is really funny. Huh? Oh, 
Thanks, Kyle. I should be okay now. I hate not being able to see my keyboard. Oh my god. Uh. So this part may be extended a slight bit just because of that bullshit earlier at the beginning of this episode. I hope you like lightsabers up your buttocks. Ah, uh, I forgot I'm too fat. Can't make it through that hole. Not a hole, it's a gap in the pillars. I don't know why I keep turning my lightsaber off. It's habit, I'm sorry. Die! He won't move. That fixed this problem right quick. Poop! I didn't do anything. The only way that snipers can move is by lunging. Which is hilarious, because the only thing they can do when, you're, when they're not near you is taunt. And that's it. Doesn't work. It's really lame. I was wanting him to fall down the pit like a normal person. Did I kill him? I killed him! <laughs> that was too easy. That was too easy. Good work, Kyle. Looks like Looks like I can't understand you. Would you play? Please kindly repeat that. Would you repeat that? Would you kindly? Uh, no. Do we not go that way? No. Yes. No. Maybe so. This is the right way to go. We have to go to the the the, the pad of stars now. In order to deal with the insurrectionist that is Lando Cal not si lightsaber Lando saber Lando saber lice Calrissian. I can speak goodly English, hey, Lucian. Glad you made it. Thanks. Unfortunately, they didn't bother the refueler. This should take a few minutes, then we're out of here. Like they thought that you were gonna actually fly it out of here. We've got company. Oh right, yeah. So I have to work my magic again, because otherwise Lando lightsaberless Calrissian is gonna die, and that would suck for everyone. <laughs> I am so immature. Where are the other guys? Where are they out there? Oh, they are. And now, go to the front of the hangar because they're there too. Jip, jip, jip. And then when you deal with these guys, more spawn. Because lol, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. And I think more spawn at the back. So we're going to go deal with them. And then that'll finally be it. Then we can actually move on with our loafs, which will be fucking wonderful. I don't care about swearing anymore. All right, let's just turn this off and see if some more spawn. What? Hold them off while I try to start her up. What did I just do? Oh! Ah! Whoa! I see. This is the issue when you can't see things. Whoa, yeah, check out my hasty moves. I'm like Johnny Bravo right now. Deal with you. I'm not in the mood to fight. I don't want to fight things that don't move, so I'm just going to dispatch them quickly. That's some decon decontamination work that I've ever seen before. All right, now we're done. We're good. We're set.
Get up those stairs! He's immune to force powers, apparently. He is. Kyle, we've got a problem. So what's new? There's no fuel coming through the lines. They must have the valve closed at the main tanks. See if you can get out there and open the right valve. They use a code system. Make sure you get the right one. And you'll still need to find the controls for the roof sections. They have to be around here somewhere. I'll get everything ready to go here. Good luck. So I'll deal with the roof sections first because they are the closest. The roof sections are on both sides of the star pad. Right here with all the Toblerone bar controls. Actually, these are more like caramel bars that you need to press. I don't know why I'm speaking like William Shatner. So once you deal with the first one, one. you need to open the other section. Don't miss the hole. That's not a perfect pitch at all. Now that you've dealt with that, jump over the R2 unit. Actually, take the long way around because, lol, that's fun to do. I love doing it. And then there, these are the explodey foxy boxes, like before. Remember where your crouch button is. Uh, hang on. I gotta do something funny. I'm sliding now because I use the first for these things. Now press the caramel bars of awesome sausages to move on with your justice. Nice work. The roof is open. We still need that fuel. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta roll in here. I gotta make sure. I gotta make it funny. I gotta entertain. I can't. Why can't I can't roll? I, but I could roll into it from the other side. Why can't I roll into it there? I don't know. Anyway, the fuel is on the right hand side of the... No? It's all the way back here. Oh my god! That was hilarious. I stopped myself mid-attack. <laughs> it's right here. You're better off just going to the back of the hangar where all the insurrectionists were coming in. Then walk over to here, jump up on this, and then jump up on the pipes. Oh my god! Jump <laughs> Jump up on the pipes. Oh, look at me. I'm so fancy. Chuck it now. You need to do that. That one. And... Good work. Yeah! Set to go. Get back. Let's get out of here. No. No. Where's my no clip button? I just want to get in here fast. Fast pass. I don't know why I just didn't go through this door. Oh. I'm losing my mind. I've done this too much. We're out of here. <laughs> Problems. That doesn't sound good. I don't believe it. It's not my fault. It's never your fault. Uh oh. Uh oh. How's that guy dead? Oh, they're all dead. Going somewhere, gentlemen. How did they die? You'd better get on the gun and hold them off. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. I'll have this jiffed in a fixie. All right. So here's a problem. We need to do this really quick, because otherwise, Relo Baroque and his wonderful arabesque people will actually destroy the ship without even doing anything. Which just doesn't make any sense at all. My god. Man. And he's dead. You know what's really funny? In the last episode recording I did of this, he died for no reason. What? the fuck is that? Oh, it's his ass! Oh, that's funny! Look, he's not supposed to be cut in half yet, everyone else is. I wonder why. Hmm, I never thought about that. Alright, back to the sh <laughs> back to the shipper. Ah. Ah. There. I'm good now. Now, in order to proceed with your loaf, you need to press this button, because un in order for the ship to take damage, you need to engage the turrets. And there you go, I'm going to shoot his ass once before we leave. Why does this sound like a... Are we set, Lando? Are we Lando set? It's... Oh, right, I gotta... Hang on. 
There, I fixed it. <laughs> All right, say goodbye to this wretched hive of scum and villainy, and hello to Cloud City. Need any help? Just sit back and get some rest. I'll work out a plan to get DeSan and his remnant friends out of my city. You mean Bespin, right? The best city ever. Because you can't say Bespin, right? On second thought, Tavion, kill her. Kyle! <laughs> <laughs> Dramatic reenactment. Uh, no, no, Jen. Kyle, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. Good. While you were sleeping, I hailed a new Republic base on Solace. They haven't shown much interest in our little smuggling problem in the past, but now that they know remnant forces are behind it, they're eager to pitch in. A strike team should be arriving on Besman within a few hours. No! I thought you'd be happy to. They'll tip off the sun. Then we'll catch them later. Getting the sun isn't as important as clearing the city. Jan's dead, Lando. The sun and his minion killed her. Griff, I'm sorry, Kyle. <sighs> okay, okay, here's what we'll do. I'll drop you off on the lower levels. They've probably been overrun by remnant troops, so watch out. Chances are that Desan's operating from one of the loading bays above level 10, but you'll never get in without the proper access codes. Try to find Carbonite Chamber 17. I've hidden an old R5 unit there with codes to every loading bay in the city. You always did plan for the worst. Ever since that run-in with Vader. Anyway, I'll head up top and gather some old friends from the security force. We'll work our way down towards your position. If we're lucky, we can trap Dasan before the new Republic arrives. <laughs> He'll head up to my position by twisting his neck and turning into an owl. Because that is the way it always works in this world. In this world, overrun by Lando Owls. Bad things happen to people and in giant Inception discs. Tops, I know what I'm talking about. So now we're on the USS Enterprise. You can't see shit up there! The cloud layer is too thick. Oh, but it doesn't... Okay. So, here's a, here's a handy tiddly, tiddly bits. Don't stand there when you're doing your intro to your episodes. You know why? You'll die. Because if you think you can no-clip to save yourself, it doesn't work! <laughs> I'll see you guys back in 